that was my fun beginning because what I was going to do is I was going to get in it and hide and jump out but I couldn't fit in it so um, yeah I'm here hello so I'm going to talk you through a haul that I did a lot of mini one anyway of a few clothes I bought for the festival that I'm going to go on um, in two days time how exciting I'm off to the Isle of Wight festival which I cannot wait for so it's going to be a good thing so I thought I'd share a couple of my items with you and a few do's and don'ts and festival essentials and, and all things festively really so I thought you know I'm going to share it with you now so let's start with some of the essentials that you need so I'm going to start with what I tried to do with this thing you need a rucksack or something that will hold lots and lots of things in um, I like a rucksack because um, if you're small you can hide it for a start um, and second is it fits everything in um, this is like a DME type rucksack that um, you have to do DME things um, and explore and that kind of thing. Number two is a sleeping bag, um, which is always really fun because um, you need them to keep warm and things like that. And also, you can look like a caterpillar if that's what you want to do. And also, a lovely roll mat is um, a good time to have because you want to lie on it and be comfy. And oh my god, can you see my eye? But let's start with the clothes. So these are a couple of items I bought from various shops around. Um, I only bought a few items because I've already got a lot of stuff that I will take anyway. But these are the items I bought and I'm going to share them with you. So I absolutely love this little play suit from New Look. Um, it's got a really cool pattern. It's quite like paisley and stuff, so it's really nice and it's really floaty. Um, and I've decided to team it with a little denim jacket that I bought. One, which is this. Um, I got this from a vintage shop for £10. Um, I really like it. It look, looks really cool with this um, play suit. Um, and it just makes it, gives it a bit of an edge, you know. So if it is kind of a bit cold, then you can sling this over. And then you always take it off and put it on your waist if you don't want it anymore. Um, and it just makes it look quite quirky and quite fun, really, because it's a quite fun kind of play suit. And you want to be bright and stuff, and you want to sling it out. Because if you lose people, it's the best thing. Uh, you also need a Mac as well, I might add. Um, I do have mine with me, I'm waiting for mine to come. I ordered it off Boohoo um, the other day, so it should be coming tomorrow, which is exciting. Um, you need a Mac, Macs are essential because if you get wet, you're going to be miserable, I tell you. Miserable. And my next item is this little pinafore. It's just like a denim pinafore from Primark. Um, I really liked it, I tried it on, you know, and the good thing about it, you can get a couple of outfits out of it. You can put any, you know, any shirt underneath. One. I've decided to put this little t-shirt underneath it um, but you know you put anything like a shirt or I don't know um, anything really a blouse maybe a crop top you know anything really goes with these kind of things so you can put that underneath there I just thought it would be cute little items really to take on, take on board and you can team them up with little extras I like this you look a bit like a farmer because I look a bit like a farmer well I think I look a bit like a farmer this and a dungaree to look a bit like a farmer, but there's nothing wrong with looking like a farmer from time to time. And of course you need the wellies. Now these are important, and these were like little new look items I bought. They were in sale online for £7. Yes, I know. I, I absolutely love them. I mean, they're quite jazzy and sparkly, and but they're quite plain and they kind of go with everything. So, and they have that jelly spot. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a whiff, that. Oh, anyway, <laughs> they're all new. I didn't realise it's not that bad. Um, I haven't worn them, by the way. It's the smell of the shop, not me. Um, but yeah, these are like jelly, jelly wellies. So they're quite fun. They're quite durable. They're quite comfy. Um, to wear them with some thick socks, I guess. They're nice, like, because sometimes when you get these big wellies and they rub your legs a bit and you get welly burn, or I think it's called welly burn. I call it welly burn, but we don't want to burn. You get, like, a welly burn. I'm going to use that for the rest of the day um, on your leg. But with these, because they're angle ones, they kind of fit a bit nicer and a bit more fun. Farmer hat, wellies, and I don't know if you've seen this picture flying around, but it, make, it makes me crack up every time. Um, so, yeah, this is the picture. And of course, it is a floral headband. Um, I think I look a bit like the dog when I wear it, um, so I feel a bit like the dog. I think it's a really funny picture because it does depict everyone kind of wears these festivals but they're kind of nice to wear and you know it's really cheap this was from Primark it was really cheap and if I don't wear it I don't wear it but I, I quite like them I think they're quite cute and nice and 
I, I like celery flowers and some of that maybe. So that is my clothing haul for now. Don't smell these when you buy them because they'll have a good time. My number one do is to dance like an absolute madhead. Don't worry about what people think of you, just have a good time, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, dance around, um, you know, flail your arms around, do what the moves you want to do, because at the end of the day, it's your moves, it's your life, you have a good dance, why not? Number two, I would say enjoy the music, just enjoy it, just enjoy everything, have a good time and um, have a dance, do what you want to do, and just get involved with the music really, and just, yeah, enjoy it. Uh, number three, set some challenges for yourself. Um, I think it's always fun to say, you know, find the craziest bears in the festival and take a photo, like, because it's the one opportunity you're going to get where there's people dressed as bears, dressed as cavemen, dressed as smurfs, actually smurfs kind of common, you know, there's loads of things, people dress as random things, I found people dressed as cavemen and took a picture with them because... And make friends as well is my number four. Um, because everyone at festivals is so friendly and it's good to make friends because if you lose your friends and um, you kind of remember someone that you've met and you find them in the crowd, you're like, just stick to them and you feel a bit better because you're not going to get lost on your own. Because it's happened to me a lot of times, I've kind of been in a festival, I've just turned around and everyone's sort of, because in the crowds people just get pushed everywhere, don't they, and you know, you're little on your own and oh, and crowd surf. Yeah, do a little cheeky crowd surf, you have a good time, I tell you. Anyway, back to the friends. Um, so you can make friends and then you won't feel as lost. So I would say attach yourself to someone that you've never met before in your life. And I would say number five is don't worry about what you look like because there are going to be people in the festival and you're going to walk around and you're going to see people and be like, because oh, they're going to look perfect and you're there like dragged through a bush. Well, I know that I've been dragged through a bush and I'm, you know, sopping wet because I've got wet by the rain and, you know, mud's kind of kicked up somehow onto my face or something. You know, you never know if something's on your face and no one tells you and you walk around with a massive mud slide on your face, you know. Crack on with that. Um, that's normally me, so just letting you know. But no, so don't worry about looking your best. Um, obviously try if you want to look good, but I'm just saying, like, no one really cares. Everyone's in their own little world and you're always going to have people that look amazing because that's life. That's just life. And finally, um, I would say number six. This is when I used to go to festivals. I used to get really excited with, you know, with the band looks at you. Your favourite band's on stage and they look at you. You come away with a bit of an achievement you're like, oh yeah, he looked at me. And when they come and tell you, like, oh yeah, you feel like you've met them, you feel like you claim to fame, you start boasting about it and everyone's like, nobody cares. Um, you know, you're like, oh, that guy waved at me, you know, it's like, oh my god, that guy waved at me. Um, so yeah, so, you know, try and get attention to your favourite band and go away and say, we were Bezos for life at this festival, they loved me, basically, because they picked you out of the crowd. Remember that, they picked you out of the crowd. And my festival don'ts. Well, going back to the band thing, okay, so there's two types of that. So if a band guy waves at you, just, you know, give him, you know, like, smile, and like, yeah, you know, they've recognised you. Don't give him the overexcited, a couple of the overexcited faces. One of them is this. Because I don't think they'll like it. I don't, I don't think they'll find that a good time. Um, and there's also this one, Starstruck. Just practice your faces in the mirror before you go, really. That's probably a good idea. And also, when it's muddy, um, don't probably, I would say, don't run, if you want to do this, then you do it, but personally I would be like, don't run around in the mud because you've got a whole weekend and you're not going to be able to shower or wash. So, I would say it's probably not a good idea. Um, my third and final one would probably be um, watch the tent wires. Just don't trip over a tent wire. Seriously, it's the most embarrassing moment of your life when you trip over a tent wire. Um, I've done it before. If you've had a drink or you just it's night and you're fumbling around for your tent, um, just watch the, the tent wires because 
they'll come at you and you never know what happens to you. Seriously, you're walking along, they're like invisible. It's like literally a death trap. You could probably trap someone at a festival with these like wires. Um, so when you're walking, just watch your feet because there's nothing worse than being like me and tripping over and falling on your face and feeling a bit like a So thank you so much for watching my vlog today if you've given it a watch. Um, if you want to like it, then go crazy. Um, I also do a blog, so I'm going to put that in the description down here. Um, so have a click and have a read if you want. I talk about all new music and all the upcoming gigs and things like that. And I've been talking about festivals for the past like couple of weeks, so you'll see loads of posts like that. So you know, it's basically all I've just said in about a million posts. Like, go crazy, have a look. But no, thank you for watching, and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>